What is going on, folks? Well, today I'm going to be working on another deer head. Uh, but put it together, I'm going to do, do a short eye video of how to set the eyes and the modeling clay around it. Uh, just a quick tutorial for anybody that would be interested, maybe trying to, to mount one of their own deer and seeing, you know, just another example of a different way to do something that, that I feel like to me is, is pretty simple uh, after watching several different ways of doing this and several different people using epoxy and stuff like that. I just use regular uh, wet modeling clay. Uh, works great. Um, it, it, it takes a few more days to dry. The good thing about that is as the hide starts to set up and dry out very slowly, the, the clay actually also dries very slowly. So what you end up with is after a couple of days, the skin gets kind of tacky where you can actually press a fingernail into it and it will make a line and stay there. So as, as the eye dries, uh, you can end up making um, eyelids, a uh, different detail. Uh, like for instance, on this, this deer right here that I've got drying, you can see around the eyelid where that crease is. Um, when, the, when the hide is still, still wet and kind of plumped up, it doesn't really want to hold that detail as well. After a few days, it does it really well. And with, with modeling clay, like I said, you, you, can, you can work with it for several days in a row before it actually hardens. Um, so anyway, this is, like I said, I'm just using regular. I've got a 25 pound box. I got a Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's very cheap. It doesn't cost a whole lot. It goes a long way. It's actually cheaper than buying it uh, in small portions. So anyway, let's let's get started here. I've got these these regular aspheric eyes is what I'm what I'm using. Uh, they're out there. It's a regular white tail eye. Uh, maybe one of the most important thing is make sure you order the size that the form calls for. Uh, when you go to order a form, it's going to actually tell you under if it's a 28 millimeter, a, a 30, 32, sometimes a 34, but very rarely. Uh, I think this right here is a 32, uh, which is very common in a, a regular mature whitetail. Um, this right here, when you're, when you're mounting the eye, very important thing to remember is that the pupil, uh, it, it goes sideways in the deer's eye. It's not up and down. It's not diagonal. You want to make sure that you get that right, or you're going to have a deer that's, I mean, it's just looking crazy, you know, look like it's on crack or something. But this, this pupil on the back of the eye, a lot of them, it'll actually have the line because it's kind of hard to see. Uh, from the front unless you get the light just right. Now, if you once you get on the wall and that light's shining on it, you're going to be able to tell if you're looking for it. Um, on the back, it actually has the pupil drawn on there to give you a little bit more of an idea which way that's supposed to face. And it's supposed to be like that, uh, not like that. Um, so anyway, let's, let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of clay going here. And I'll try to kind of demonstrate what I'm, what I'm doing as I'm doing it and just give you a, a general idea of about what kind of time you're looking at and how I like to do it uh, the easy way. Well, all right, let's see here. Let me get this set up. You kind of see what you're what you're looking at here. All right, I like to take me a little, just enough clay to where it's going to fit in the back of this eye cup. That that hollowed out place in the back of that eye. You're going to want to fill that up with modeling clay, and have just enough left over where it's over the edge just a little bit to where it'll stick in there like glue. Find that pupil, make sure it's lined up flat, and you just press that onto the deer. You'll have a little bit of squeeze out like that, which is, which is just perfect. Smash that down around the edge, and that will give you a, something to hold it in place. And just take little pinches at a time and roll it up in your hand. Make a little roll of it, and just lay it in there around that eye. What that'll do is it just sets that eye in place, keeps it from sliding around while you're working in your detail on it. That, that will hold that eye in place. What I like to do is take your finger and press on it right there and rub so the excess out. It presses out all your air gaps. Gives you a little bit better seal. Now take me a little roll about that size, put it under the bottom for, for your bottom eyelid and just smooth that out to the form. Just like so. And I like to take another roll, just a little bit longer, something about like that, and put it right over the top for your top eyelid. Just press that down just enough for it to stay in place. Now on the next one, you've got to build up the top of the, the brow where, where it comes from the eyelid up to the, the brow here. You don't want a whole lot of clay. It's going to be a little bit more than what you use for the eyelid. Um, I like to take it and uh, 
have it a little bit thicker in the middle right here and kind of taper down as you go down toward the tear duct. Um, just lay that fat part right there on top of that eye, just like so, if you can see that good. And as you bring this down, just press the top, smooth it out to that form, right into that foam right there. Just give it just enough of a taper to where it, it, it kind of tapers right into the form like it's one whole piece. You don't want it thick on the back side of this eye right here. It actually gonna come down to, to near flush. You don't really want anything here and you don't want it built up too much in that tear duct. Um, what it'll do is when you, when you go to put your, your, your hide on, you can actually press into that clay and tuck some of that hide. The, the, the hide itself will actually tuck in around the edges of that modeling clay. When you turn your, your eyelids inside out, that excess skin will go up under there. That's what will hold that in place. Um, but as you can see from the, from the front, there, there's, you don't want much sticking out here. That eye, you want that eyeball to actually be you know, poking out the side of the deer's head like it, like it would naturally. And uh, same, way, same way in the front here, you don't want a whole lot of extra clay just on, the, just on that eyelid and that brow. And, and as you can see, it's a very rough look right now. But that's really all that you need to do to get that eye set. Um, some of the videos you see, uh, you'll see guys with paintbrushes and water and they'll sit there and they'll fool with it, mess with it until it's just perfect and smooth looking. Well, then you take the cape and slide it up over the deer and it smashes clay all over the side of the hide. It just, I mean, all over the side of the form. It's not gonna do you a whole lot of good to work any detail into it at this point. Uh, once you get your glue on it, put the hide on it, get your eye tucked, then you can work those details in. And like I said, in the following few days, as that hide starts to dry, you can work an eyelid into it. You can work detail into it, the brow ridge, all that different stuff. You actually tuck that um, tear duct and, uh, you know, get the details in there that you want. That's the good thing about tanning a hide and then using a wet uh, hide paste and wet tan hide paste to where you can mount that deer damp, uh, which will give you almost a week in you know, warm, cool to warm weather, you'll have nearly a week to work on that deer uh, while you can still move it around. Um, you can still work, work detail into it without it actually uh, moving, you know, overnight. If, uh, if you use dry preservative, uh, a lot of people uh, used to do that a lot, but the problem with dry preservative is, is it once it dries, it dries. I mean, you put, you put it all over, it's almost like using borax, you put it all over the hide, put it up there, stitch it up. Anywhere you missed on that cape that's not tanned, um, or doesn't have dry preservative on it, you're going to end up with, with beetles in it. You're going to end up with bugs, uh, maggots, worst case scenario, and stink. I mean, it's going to rot. It's not going to, it's not going to cure right. And on top of that, what, what's going to end up happening is overnight, nearly, as it starts to dry, that hide will shrink up so quickly and change so quickly that you're not going to be able to work those details in. And anything that you don't have pinned up, and in place where you want it, especially around the eyes, the nose and the mouth, it's gonna draw up and look ridiculous in about 24 to 48 hours. If you're not really on top of your pinning and making sure all that stuff is in place to where it can't go anywhere. Uh, when I mount deer, I don't use any pins at all. Um, if I do, it's gonna be around the, the bottom of the deer, um, right in here, between the legs and some of, these, some of the muscle detail right through here. Um, some deer stick better than others. Uh, a lot of it depends on the form, how deep the muscle is in the form. Some of these big forms like this one, uh, you can see it has actually got very deep musculature and without some pins or, or carding to hold that in place, you're gonna end up with what they call drumming. That, that hide as it dries is gonna pop loose from the form and make a flat spot across the detail work. So instead of actually having cuts in that muscle, you're gonna have just a big flat spot that's like the top of a drum that you'd play. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, you, know, you see how fast that was. that was. That was easy, piece of cake. I mean, you do a couple of eyes in just a few minutes. And like I said, don't get too detailed with that detail work. Just do it, make it look like that, and then stick your hide and everything together and work the details in with your cape. Uh, don't spend a whole lot of time messing with those, the, the little stuff like this beforehand because you're not gonna be able to see, it's not gonna be useful. Um, until after that deer is mounted anyway. Well, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching and y'all remember to go and subscribe and like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Out.